So you know on this channel, we love head coach Kevin O'Connell and what he's bringing to the culture uh, of support as well as culture of positivity and getting things done, winning games and all that stuff. And beyond the players elevating their games and uh, putting on the best show possible and uh, hoisting that to Lombardi a dozen times in the next 10 years, uh, looking at the coaching staff, like he wants to see his guys succeed and he is paying it forward uh, for the people who helped him along the way. Uh, he's been very adamant about that and wanted to highlight a random story story that really uh, exemplifies how amazing Kevin O'Connell is. So uh, Gerard Johnson, if you remember, uh, spent one year last season as the Vikings assistant to the regional quarterbacks coach last year, not even QB coach, assistant quarterbacks coach, uh, came over from the uh, Indianapolis Colts and he, he was brought in. He was brought in to help uh, Kellamon because Kellamon, Texas A&M uh, alum, same thing with Gerard Johnson. In fact, Kellamon broke a lot of Gerard Johnson's uh, records from uh, back at College Station. But Gerard Johnson, by the way, Gerard Johnson was a stud back in the day, man, for the Aggies. He's like 6'6". Six, six. He's like 240. He could sling it. Woo! Good times, man. Uh, but he got into coaching, and eventually he uh, was hired by the Houston Texans and new head coach D'Amico Ryans uh, as their quarterbacks coach to work with C.J. Stroud uh, as they look to hopefully that they found their new franchise quarterback. Gerard Johnson is going to play a major part in that. And also, Gerard Johnson, remember, had a couple of offensive coordinator interviews uh, throughout the league, so he is seen as a hot property uh, moving his way up the coaching ranks. And Kevin O'Connell had some great comments on this. So uh, this is from the Houston Chronicle. Uh, Jonathan M. Alexander tweeted this out, quote, Everything that I look for in a great quarterback's coach, he checks all those boxes and then some. So when D'Amico Ryans and Nick, uh, D'Amico Ryans and Nick Casario, Texans GM, uh, reached out, I told them it was a no-brainer. This guy belongs in our league as a quarterback coach right now, Kevin O'Connell on Gerard Johnson. So this is why it's really cool from Kevin O'Connell's perspective, because he could have been very selfish and blocked uh, Gerard Johnson from interviewing for all of these jobs, whether it be the Chargers or the Texans. Uh, because, you know, assistant to the uh, assistant QB coach, QB coach, they don't distinguish between that. It would be seen as a lateral move. Uh, but Kevin O'Connell, like he knows that Gerard Johnson wants to get experience. He wants to rise up in the profession. Maybe Gerard Johnson is a head coach in waiting someday. And this is a great opportunity, you know, with the Texans having the number two overall pick, uh, taking C.J. Stroud as their quarterback of the future. And it really is beautiful. It, it, it is awesome, man, that he's uh, he's sort of – being selfless, where he a lot of coaches could have been selfish, and he allowed Gerard Johnson to go out and grow in his job. You know, plus, you know, giving a great quote to the Houston Chronicle, the local paper, he didn't have to do that. And I think what Kevin O'Connell is doing, and it's something that he's talked about before, is that he is paying it for it. Where Kevin O'Connell, you know, after his playing career wrapped up, after being a third-round pick in 2008, he, he got his first shot on Mike Pettin's staff as a quarterback's coach. Remember, Johnny Manziel was the dude. Woo, good times, man. Uh, John Filippo was the OC at the time. Good times. Just fantastic. Hey, can we give Johnny Football one more shot? Nah. Yeah, not nah, nah about that. But yeah, then Kevin O'Connell, he rose up through the ranks. He was in San Francisco for a couple of years, uh, had some crossover with Quasi, eventually uh, joined the staff of Washington, spent some time with Kirk Cousins. It's good times. And he continued to grow. And then ultimately, uh, he got the head coaching job at age 36. And there's a lot of guys that he that he needs to thank that helped out his career, and he is paying it for right now. Because if you look at the Vikings coaching staff, I mean, how many – future head coaches and coordinators are on the staff. You know, probably a lot. Uh, Wes Phillips, I, I think, will eventually be a head coach, potentially. You know, he's got the the DNA, you know, the genes, uh, being the grandson of Bum as well as the son of Wade Phillips, which is awesome. Uh, Keenan McCardle uh, had a couple of interviews for OC jobs, uh, notably the New England Patriots. I think eventually he's going to become an OC. Maybe he'll become a head coach someday. Uh, then you look defensively, of course, Brian Flores, who was a head coach of the Dolphins. He's going to be quickly uh, – he, he's quickly going to be another head coach uh, sometime very soon. And maybe Smith he moves up to be a DC. I thought that he could have been a candidate to take over this year. Uh, and it, Matt Daniels, I think, uh, is destined for uh, uh, for better things as well. I think he could be a head coach, uh, even coming from the special teams side, just like John Harbaugh from back in the day. So, yeah, I yeah, we won't talk about Joe Judge. <laughs> so we'll just talk about Harbaugh for special teams guys becoming head coaches. But I, I think that it's something that uh, Kevin O'Connor is very cognizant of because he does – Understand that it took a lot of people doing him a solid to get him to where he needs to be, and he's just returning the favor. 
and he's just paying it forward. So uh, it's awesome that he went to bat for Rod Johnson, and it's awesome that he still you know, holds him in high regard and is, is saying that uh, all, all of the stuff about how he's going to be amazing and how he's a, a fantastic quarterbacks coach in this league, and he's a rising star. So rooting for him. Maybe we'll see Rod Johnson in the Super Bowl someday. Ah, probably not. You know, but you know, you know, maybe he'll do great work as C.J. Stroud and Stroud become the next hot property and eventually Rod Johnson get a head coaching job of his own. It's very possible, man. Uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Kevin O'Connell has some great comments about former Vikings assistant quarterbacks coach Gerard Johnson. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>